Hi, I'm Captain Grant Coppin with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. All right, I know the wind's been crazy, uh, north, south, east, west, so the bay is kind of churned up in some aspect, and it's clear in others. But right here, um, especially coming over the bridge today, I looked, and this whole section right here was nice and pretty green. Now, right now, currently, it's blowing out of the north and will continue to blow out of the north until about the beginning of the weekend. This is all gonna stay clear. Once it starts out of the southeast, it's not gonna get very strong at all. We're gonna have a very calm weekend. You come in here with some croaker anywhere in this section here, and you're gonna catch lots of good trout. Like I said, that north wind's gonna be petering out, and we're gonna get back to our southeast wind, and it's gonna be really, really light. I might even do some offshore trips this weekend, but right now, um, as this wind lets up, you're gonna be able to cruise across Corpus Christi Bay, get over on the Portland shoreline from the Country Club all the way over to Indian Point Pier, and fish your croaker in those sandbars, and really just have some red hot action. Out here in Corpus Christi Bay, once those winds lay down, these gas wells have been really good and they're all over. You look out from the downtown area, you can see them. Uh, they're over by the Oso, off the, off the beach. All through here, just go rig hopping, catching lots of trout, throwing live shrimp and live croaker both. Both are working very well. Um, and once those winds pick up, you can also go over to that shoreline again, like I talked about in the last report. Over here on this shoreline, straight across from American Bank Center, we've been catching good trout early, throwing the croaker. Um, also, out here around the tea heads, we've been catching uh, trout, a few scattered drum, and again, those mangrove snapper. You know, it's hot. They're around here. I'm catching them both on croaker and live shrimp, and they hit hard. So make sure your drag's locked down. You gotta jerk those little suckers out of there because they pull hard, and you get them out of the rocks, you can put 20 or 30 of them in the box. Captain Grant Coppin, thanks for watching.